Hello everybody, Student Computer Scientist here, and today we're just going to talk about some things. Now first, I just want to be completely honest, I have been slacking really bad. Maybe not really bad, but I just, I haven't been coding and I haven't been applying to jobs a lot. Like, I don't know, within like the past week, a week and a half. It hasn't been like ridiculously long, but I mean, it's still a lot that I could have done in a week, a week, in a week or a week and a half. And, uh, um, I'm just feeling like kind of better, honestly, uh, just applying and applying and applying and then seeing all the rejections. It's very discouraging. Sometimes, uh, th like little breaks kind of help me get motivated to start going again. Cause then I get that feeling of, okay, I'm not doing enough again. But like, even when I am doing enough, I still feel like I don't, I'm not doing enough. So when I'm actually not doing anything, it's like a little better which I, I guess is because um, I feel like if I start, I'll go somewhere. But if I already start and I feel like I'm not going anywhere, it's like a lost cause, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Either way, no excuses. I'm locking back in, okay? Like I, I have to get back on this grind. Um, I'm back on the applying to five jobs a day, which may not seem like a lot, but it is 140 jobs every month. And that's, that's a lot, you know, that, that adds up. And it definitely can increase the chances. And another reason why um, I, f I feel like it takes me a long time to apply for jobs. So like even like the five jobs could take me an hour. Uh, it really just depends because I'm very um, picky with the jobs that I apply to. Because I saw a video that talked about the reason a lot of people aren't getting jobs is because they're applying for jobs they're not qualified for at all. And I figured why waste time applying for jobs that I'm not qualified for at all when I can apply for jobs that I at least have a little bit of chance of getting looked at with. So if I see five, 10 plus years of experience, I don't apply. I just keep scrolling, I keep going. But if I see two years of experience, college degree, knows Java, and then it'll go into like other things like Kotlin and stuff. I don't really know Kotlin, but I'll still apply. Um, AWS, I know a little bit. If I see that in there, I'll apply. But yeah, I'm very particular in what I apply to so that I'm not wasting my time. But um, if this is not an approach that is feasible for whatever reason, leave a comment. Let me know. I'm just, you know, kind of I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just kind of navigating life on a whim here and hoping for the best. But uh, just lead code applying personal projects. That's pretty much um, where we're at right now. But I did just pick up like a little hobby to kind of focus on. That's not just, um, hey, Jordan, you don't have a job focus, which coding kind of is right now. You know, whenever I'm coding, I'm just like, oh, I could be doing this for someone, but I'm not. So I kind of found something that's not like that. I mean, I've already had things that aren't like that, but um, I don't always want to roller skate. Sometimes I just want to sit in the house and watch Young Sheldon. But today I'm going to go over this Lee code problem here. Reverse linked list two. Now, one thing that I want to say is that I can reverse a linked list on the whim. Like I've, I, I basically memorized how the pointers are supposed to work. I didn't memorize the code, but every time I think about how the pointers are supposed to work, I do it with the code and then it works. So that's good. That's, that's a good thing. So the first thing I did with this problem, actually, let me read the problem. I'm just kind of going into it. So given the head of a singularly linked list in two integers left and right, where left is less than or equal to right, reverse the nodes of the list from position left to position right and return the reverse linked list. Yeah. So in this example, you can see um, it wants you to reverse from where like the left position, which is two to the right position, which is four. So one, two. So reverse here to four and then leave the rest of the list to be the same as it was in the original. So um, I did get stuck on this. I was doing this for uh, with my friends and we, we kind of hit a wall <laughs> on this one. But um, yeah, I had to fold and I looked at the solution and then I took like two days and I came back to the problem, like kind of remembering the logic for the solution to recode it. So this is what got recoded. Um, and it's probably not even optimized to be honest. I'm pretty sure it's not. I forgot the, uh, I forgot. Oh, it says it beats a hundred percent, but 
it's not really a lot of submissions. So back to this, the first thing I did was just reverse the link list. Um, there's like a video on YouTube by Geeks for Geeks that sh just shows a link list getting reversed. I remember that pattern and then I just code that pattern all the time. And uh, yeah, so that is what this is here. But that's th this is what I first coded. While cur does not equal null, next equals cur dot next, cur dot next equals prev, prev equals cur, cur equals next, and then final ants dot next equals prev, because final ants dot next is. I, I just made it answer, and honestly, these should probably be reverse uh, naming wise, but um, I just started coding. It just didn't feel like rewriting everything. So, um, ideally it was supposed to be final answer is supposed to be the final answer, but answer is just the final answer and it, it's okay. But these are my three list nodes for reversing the link list. And then I have this, which is just going to be the answer. And then this, which is manipulating answer and this, which is going to be the position, which could be name pause, but I didn't, I'm, I need to get better with naming. I know I will, but I go into this while loop and while I is less than uh, left minus one, then final dot next, because, you know, we're kind of at an empty node right now. So while final ants dot next, I'm sorry, final ants dot next equals current, which is just the current one, which is head. And then I make final ants dot next final ants equal the next node, which is cur. And then I make cur equal cur dot next and then I, I plus plus. So it adds one and then cur equals two. So then after that, I reposition my uh, uh, I to zero. And that is for this purpose here. So while I is less than or equal to right minus left, which is going to be two, which means it'll loop three times since I have I equaling zero. And this just reverses the linked list from, um, where I currently am in final ants dot next, which is just one because that had already been added all the way until four. Now in this while loop, the reason I have this here is just so that I can traverse the rest of the list. Because if I just equal, if I just let final ants dot next equal cur, uh, it, it just breaks the whole thing. But um, if I just system dot out dot print this, you'll see the reason why it breaks the whole thing. So this will print out two, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I'm not printing out the value. Sorry. This will just print out 432, which is what's needed here, which means that, um, and I'm not actually making a uh, final ants equal final ants dot next. So this is still at one. So if I were to just skip this completely and then just make final ants dot next equal cur, which is where uh, left off at in this while loop, which will be five. Um, it just goes one five because it's still stuck at one. So I just let this just traverse to the end of the list. And after that, and as you can see, the end of the list is two. And then I just make final ants dot next equal cur. And then if cur has any other um, nodes that is connected to, then that is what the rest of the list will be. And then remember final dot, I mean, final ants just is just manipulating answer. So we can just return ants dot next and I mean, I already ran it. Um, I didn't like recode this, but yeah, it gives you the result. So, and then I submitted that and then that's what you saw earlier with the submission. So yeah, that's just the lead code problem that I wanted to go over. Uh, that was the last one that I did before I took my little break, my little short break. Um, I put quotes around short because it is short, but it could be long. It depends on who you are. Uh, yeah, I, I see it as like a like a medium sized break. Uh, I feel like a month is a long break and where I will have to feel like I need to restart doing everything. But nevertheless, um, some changes I need to make in order to be more consistent and to just feel like I'm kind of in a groove and going in the right direction in the right direction again is. I'm, I'm going to have to delete social media off my phone again. Uh, I put it back on. Wasn't a good decision. Um, I just waste a lot of time. And I need to, I need to schedule. I, I need to have a schedule again because on my days off, I'm free to do anything and I do anything except code, <laughs> literally. Um, those were the two things that I was doing where it was like a whole month. It was just consistency. Um, I was getting a lot done 
and I stopped doing that because I felt like I kind of had a grip. I don't. I don't have a grip, and I need to be honest. I don't. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna implement those again, and I'm gonna start working on a lot more things and just try to actually make some progress and just be more consistent and just get better at programming and just keep applying and then just hopefully get another interview because I haven't had an interview in a while like my last interview was actually with a really big company and they still have yet to reach back out to me like even like I look at my, my status and it just says interview in progress still I don't, I don't know but this is just a little short video um I really want to just go over this problem because it was stressing me out and there was another problem I think um there was another problem where there was like multiple um like places in the list and you just had to reverse all of those and I also did that one after finishing this one I may go over that one next video but um if I finish another problem that's more interesting I'll do that one but nevertheless thank you for watching thank you for all the support don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and X. My name on X is Jordan CS. My name on Instagram is JordanCS.js. Join my Discord. The link is in the description. And I'm going to see all of you in my next video where, where I'm consistent. And we'll all be consistent together. Thank you for watching. I'm insecure still. And she's starting to know that she think my feelings are bogus. But really she is my bogus. Because